Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl, and this is a pretty cheap drugstore brand that works, so this is what I'm using, and I really like it. And then I'm only putting that on my problem areas. I'm pretty sure the reason why people like to use no foundation makeup routines is because it's so much lighter. And also, I don't know where I heard this from, but it was like, if you only put your like concealer on your problem areas and then you just do that, it makes your skin look more naturally flawless compared to putting on like a whole entire like layer of makeup, you know, um, but I don't know if that's true. Now I'm just gonna go and take my finger and blend that out. When I use small amounts of product, I don't like to go wet my beauty blender and do all that. So I'm just gonna use my finger. You can do whatever you want though. Or if you guys want, you can just use like a brush. I have this one by e.l.f. and I don't know why, but it works really well. Also, I had literally three pimples up here overnight, like two days ago, all at the same time. It was horrible. I had to go to church looking like, I don't know, it was horrible. Now I'm like looking into the camera and I see that it looks like my eyes are so much darker. So I'm gonna go apply a little bit of concealer also onto my eyes. The whole point of this look is natural round. So just using that concealer pretty much conceals all of the like blemishes. So for this look today, since it's super natural, I want natural, but I also want glowy without looking like a cake face. So I'm going to be using more orangey colored products. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna start out by using the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, and this is like liquid highlight. Yeah, I really like this product. Um, a little does go a long way, so be careful if you do get this. Like, don't squirt it out a ton. I'm just gonna put that onto my finger. I'm just gonna like put three dots in my, like where I wanna be highlighted. Um, and then I'm just gonna take my finger. Actually, no, I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna just take this really fluffy brush. It's by Luxie, and it's the 514 Blush Brush. I really love this one super soft and I'm just gonna go and pat that out and blend it in and then I'm just gonna kind of use my finger to also blend it out now I'm gonna go in with my Bella Pure cosmetics mineral blush and this is called the autumn glow I know we're going into spring but this is a really pretty color trust me so this is what the packaging looks like is that upside down so now I'm gonna go just take this onto the blush brush once again and then apply that to ow, and then apply that to my cheeks. And also this product a little goes a really long way. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the product and brush it all over my face because it is so dark that it could go as like a bronzer. Then I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu, which is almost out, and I'm gonna spread it all over my face to to hydrate everything. And then I'm going to go in and since this is like a natural look, I'm gonna do my eyebrows instead of using pomade, which can go on super dark and super heavy, I'm gonna be using an eyebrow pencil. So I'm taking this little bad boy and it's actually a brown eyeliner, but it matches my hair color. And so I'm just gonna crank up this and then is it? Oh, there you go. I'm more defining my brows and like filling them or shaping them. I just like kind of make them a little bit better and darker. That way they stand out more. <laughs> and then I'm going to be taking my smoothie brush. Where is it? Struggles of being a girl because you're like looking through all your makeup brushes and they all look the same. <laughs> and then I'm just blending this out with the end of this blue brush. And then I'm going in with my Essence Make Me Brow and I'm gonna go set my eyebrows. Wow, my eyebrows look really dark right now. It's okay. Now I'm gonna move on. So I was like, for some really dumb reason, just hashtag Marla Logic, um, I was gonna sell my desk. So I put all of my makeup into this yellow storage bin. So I still have yet to transfer that back into my desk. Grabbed my favorite eyeshadow and this little bad boy. Bad boy, why have I been saying that lately? Like, I do not want a bad boy, okay. Um, I'm grabbing this e.l.f. more, it's more of a dense brush. I forget what it's called, it doesn't say. But I'm just gonna go in and only set the places where I get super oily. So now I'm taking, what do you know, if you watch my videos, you know I use this in every makeup tutorial, but it's because it's so good. I'm taking the new Dude Makeup Palette, the eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna be doing the color Fit. No, I'm gonna do Flirty. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take the color Flirty. It's this one right here. It's a springy color. 
then I'm going to take the color Firm, and so it's this one right here, it's right next to it, that one right there. And then I'm going to be putting this all over my eyelid on top. And then now I'm going to go in with a gel eyeliner to line my top lash line. That makes your eyes stand out so much more without doing like winged eyeliner or whatever. Now that I've done eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with more highlighter because I want this to be very dewy and natural looking. But I'm going to go in with my classic Maybelline Champagne Fizz um, eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlighter and it's so good. And then I'm going to apply a little bit on my chin and on my nose. It look wet and I like it. And a little bit underneath my brow bone. So basically your whole entire face. And now I'm going back with my gel liner and I'm just going to line the top of the lash line. So I'm not doing any dial or anything, but it will make my eyes pop out more. So I've got to get real up close and personal with my mirror. And then do yeah. that. There you go. So that just makes your eyes pop a little bit more and then, but you're not like wearing like extreme winged eyeliner. By the way, oh, I think your mascara goes on so much better. My mom's doing the dishes, so it's super hot. So at the root, then like middle, and like at the end. Um, and then using the usual kitty cat eye mascara, go watch my other tutorials if you want more deets on this, because we talk about it every time. And then I just like to apply like one to two coats, not too insane, not doing the 100 coats of mascara challenge. So this makeup look isn't as natural as I wanted it to look to be, but it still turned out super cute. And it also doesn't look like your total like cake face with a ton of makeup on. It still looks natural. I think this liquid illuminator helps so much like with that inner glow look. Actually, I think the only time I wear foundation is in my videos because I hate wearing foundation every day. So this is more of what I do. I thought it was a UPS truck. Um, so this is the complete makeup look. I hope you guys like it. And thanks for watching. Subscribe and thanks for staying till the end. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!